There is a well-kept secret lying near the mouth of the Connecticut River in a sleepy little town called Old Lyme. This secret is Florence Griswold House, now called the Florence Griswold Museum. This colonial house was presided over by Florence Griswold, seen here in a portrait of the harpist. At the end of the 19th century, Florence opened her home to a growing group of artists, the Old Lyme Art Colony. The house was previously owned by Florence's father, Captain Robert Harper Griswold, sea captain of the clipper ship, the Northumberland. After his death around 1890, Florence needed to find a way to maintain the family home. First, she opened her doors to the painters of the American Barbizon School, of which the most important artist was Henry Ward Ranger. His paintings favored dark earth colors. This autumn woodlands is typical of the landscapes painted by Ranger and his group known as the Tonalists. The painters gathered and ate in the house dining room. They also filled the walls with their paintings. This night picture of the Bow Bridge by Ranger hangs in the famous dining room. Another toneless painter, William Henry Howe, painted this diptych of the Normandy Bull. Animals and landscapes were their favorite themes. Howe also painted the favorite Old Bow Bridge. Soon European Impressionism began to impact the painters of Old Lyme. Frank Dumond was one of the early American painters to brighten his palette with light and colorful flowers in paintings such as the Garden Path. The Impressionist painters continued to decorate the walls of the dining room. A long, narrow band runs across the dining room wall with the famous fox chase by the artist Henry Rankin Poor. Horses and foxes can be seen racing along. Also, there are cartoons of the artists themselves as individuals and rather comical poses. The old Lyme art colony continued to grow. Here in a photo are its more famous members, Hassam, Metcalf, Talkman. The new school of artists loved to paint along the banks of the Lieutenant River, just behind the Florence Griswold House. This second group of painters would become known as the American Impressionists. Perhaps the best known of this group is Child Hassam. Hassam painted the signature painting called Late Afternoon Sunset. It was directly influenced by the French Impressionist painter Claude Monet and his key painting Impression Sunrise, which is the image that gave the movement Impressionism its name. Hassam also painted the Old Line Bridge and the church in Old Lyme. Willard Metcalf is another important member of the Old Lyme art colony, and he painted this extraordinary night rendering of the Florence Griswold house entitled May Night. See other beautiful landscapes by Metcalf, Village in Spring, Trout Pool, and Thawing Brook, Winter Shadows. The third important American Impressionist who emerged from the group of painters at the Old Lyme Art Academy is John Totman. He is famous for his winter scenes using white blankets of snow and earth tones like winter harmony. Totman also enjoyed painting boats on the Connecticut shore and animals in the barnyard. In 2001, a remarkable happening occurred. The Hartford Steam Boiler Collection donated its entire collection, 190 pieces of quality American art, to the Florence Griswold Museum. To house this significant collection, the Creeble family donated the new Creeble Gallery buildings seen here in front, exterior, and interior views. One of the most interesting paintings in the Hartford Steam Boiler Collection is The Fisher Boy by Edwin White. We know the old Lyme artists would enjoy life outdoors, fishing, boating, and picnics on the river. You too can journey to this hidden treasure in old Lyme the Florence Griswold House, and wander about Miss Florence's beautiful gardens and take your family and friends to paint on the grounds, or just view the American Impressions collection in the house and the artwork in the Creeble Galleries. There you can reminisce about the group of American Impressionist artists affectionately known as the Hot Air Club. Look for this beautiful painting, Side Porch, Florence Griswold House, painted by Ellen Axon Wilson in 1910. The lush bushes are enhanced by the Impressionistic Flower Garden. Ellen was the wife of President Woodrow Wilson. The first family spent a number of summers in Old Lyme, painting and enjoying the hidden treasure in Old Lyme.